All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Harakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Shalom unto you. All right, I got a quick article. Uh, well, it's just a post, really, from Instagram. It says, uh, first successful pig to human kidney transplant. My goodness, how many things can be wrong with this? in a scientific breakthrough you see how they're 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 putting science as the top thing on the earth because science is the equivalent uh what esau feels anyway is the equivalent to the power of the most high the the ability to know okay it says uh a team of surgeons in nyc have attached a pig kidney to a to a human and it worked I, I got to pull scripture right now. Bear with me. It says, first, before I grab that scripture, it's, um, here's the definition. Just in uh, the dictionary, it says, uh, the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. But, the most high understands this through creation. Okay? And and all scripture is given by inspiration of the most high. And it, it, it is the second Timothy I'm quoting from. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that a man of the most high may be uh, entire and full, um, want to nothing. I, I, I'm, I'm misquoting it. But basically, gives us all the things we need to live on the earth, man. Understanding that, that, that the most high is to be feared and, you know, and praised. Okay. It says uh, a particular area of science, a systematic organized body of knowledge on a particular subject. Knowledge of any kind is just knowledge, which it means to know. It comes from the Latin uh, scientia, scientia, uh, from Siri to know okay but this is becoming the type of thing at the top of the list man a, 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 a belief you believe in science you trust the science more than you trust the faith in the most high then, then the evidence of the most high okay this 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 this, this devil this serpent has made you believe that his science gives you all the answers. That the Most High, you know, that he had the world existing for thousands of years, tens of thousands of years, that he can do it better. Okay? So let me go to this. Okay? I'm going to get to the point we all should know this. If not, read it. Get into it. Okay? This is Genesis, the third chapter. I'm going to go straight to... Um, that's why I don't even mention what tree that is. It's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that they're talking about here. Where the serpent is beguiling Eve. Okay. We'll go straight to the point in verse 5. It says, For the most high, matter of fact, 4. And the serpent said unto the, matter of fact, 3. But the fruit of the mist, excuse me, but the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the, of the garden, the most high have said, Ye shall not eat of it, um, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Lie boldly to her face. Verse 5, For the Most High do know that in the day that ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. That's his, that's his ability to know good and evil through his science. Okay? That's what he does so he can know the will of the Most High. His science. All right. Okay, you see how he did that? And see, when he got the dominion on earth, he really exploded with his science. Nations have been doing it, but they've gotten the people believing in science more than a higher power. Okay? <clears throat> Back to the article. Okay, because this is a scientific breakthrough. Anyway, it says the donor has been genetically engineered to grow an organ unlike 
to be rejected by the human body. What? Read it again. The donor had been genetically engineered. The pig. GMO pig. To grow an organ unlike to be rejected by the human body. And in their science, man, they, they don't even know that there's different types of flesh. Okay? They know. They just don't give a damn. Okay? Instead of human, the human has already been successful. But people aren't dying fast enough. But 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 for their for their elite, they're doing organ harvesting. Give 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 Rockefeller or somebody one of them or, or one of them Rothschilds that's on their deathbed. I think it was David Rockefeller that recently died of a seventh heart transplant or some shit like that. Give them the pig organ, you know, uh, transplant. Okay? Kidney transplant. Let them do all the experiments on them. They're the ones with the money. No, they want to kill off you jakes and get your strong hearts and, uh, and kidneys and whatever and what else. Okay? All right? That's, and look, that's what made the movie um, Get Out so wonderful. You know, so 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 good is because they took organ harvesting to a new level to where they're just putting their spirit right into Jake bodies. Okay. Anyway, it says uh, the donor had been genetically engineered to grow an organ unlike to be rejected by the human body because they you should know that this is not the same type of flesh to be mingled with. Certain that NYU. Langan uh, helped attach this organ to a brain dead patient who was being maintained on a ventilator. Incredibly, the kidney started functioning almost immediately. Scientists uh, followed its process for 54 hours before ending the study. Hey, so you're good for 54 hours, even though you're, you're you know, this is just acutely short term, man. Okay, and it was a GMO pig. That doesn't make it kosher. Okay. So let me hit a couple of these, man. I don't even want to read the rest. This is the rest, I guess. I'm wondering what these comments, let's see what these comments are saying. Honey Boo Boo would be proud. Shall not halal mode. Mm, so not halal mode, yep. Yeah, let me see. I can feel the anger of the vegans. Yeah, what are you going to do for them? Okay. Look, these people are all over the place. But let's go to these other scriptures. Matter of fact, yeah, I want to go to um, Leviticus come on, 11 chapter, straight to the point. It said the swine, and this is the dietary laws. I'll start at the top. Um... Yep, uh, yep, right there, uh, second verse will work. It says, Speak unto the children of Israel, you so called Nino, Nino, Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. Okay, you're the, you're the children of Israel, you're the one that these dietary laws and all the statutes and commandments of the, of the, of the Holy Bible are for to help govern your spirit, uh, in a righteous way under the Most High. Through your faith is how you execute it. Okay, anyway, it says, um, um, there are these are the beasts that ye shall eat among all the beasts on the earth whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven footed and cheweth the cud among the beasts shall ye eat nevertheless these shall not eat of them that cheweth the cud or of them that divide the hoof as a camel because he cheweth the cud but divided not the hoof he is unclean unto you Goes on and on to say that. Then at verse uh, 7, because we're talking about the pig, the kidney of a, of a GMO pig, and the swine, though he divideth the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean unto you. America's favorite meat, man. I swear it's Jake's favorite meat. It's, you know, it's what they love to give us. People love their pork. Well, it's unclean unto us, and it doesn't make us Muslim because of it. It wasn't created for that. Along with other different meats and different shellfish and different catfishes and, and other different things. Okay, he just gave you, that's why I read it in this, gave you the criteria that it should have. 
okay? You got to chew the cud. You got to divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, okay? It says, uh, yep, verse 8, it says, Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean unto you. So attaching it to your body still touching it. Okay? This isn't how this is supposed to work. They're doing like, oh, look, we got power. We got science. We got it works. You guys keep trusting this, this man's science, man, and see what happens unto you. Okay? If they were really wise, they would understand this. Let's see if I get to the point. Takes around like here. You find it real quick. Yep, 39. Okay. Yep. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 39. All flesh is not the same flesh. So you can't just put it together. Hey, they can't even put blood types, different blood types together. You know, all the blood types, just because you got human blood don't mean you can automatically get with another human, man. So how much how much less the animals? Okay, it says, all flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, and a pig is a beast. Okay, another of fish, and another of birds. These are all different types of flesh. Some are clean and some are unclean, but they're all separate. Okay? This man just be putting shit together, man. Damn mad scientist, man. You be out there just doing just doing things in the earth, man. Saying like is he so successful because he, he believes he can do it because he, he has a God complex, man. He wants to be like the most high. Let me get that. Now I'll close with that. Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. Okay. Um This man believes he's a God on the earth, man. Okay, he believes he's all seen, all knowing. Because he, he knows everything from his science. That's what he believes. And his science falsely so-called. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Then I'll come back to this. Okay, I'll go straight to the point. This is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6. Um, yeah, I'll go to the six, uh, straight to the 20th chapter. Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so-called. Okay, people trying to combat you with science, man. Because it was no different than what they were doing in the Greek and Roman empires, man. Okay, combating our faith and our belief with science. You know, like the most, like, you know, I can't even, you can't even speak the truth on, on, on these internet no more. But hey. My faith makes me believe. You, you get you get accused for having faith. I believe I'll be healed through my through, through faith. Or if not, I believe I'll be okay. The Most High has a bigger plan, and I'm with His plan. We don't have to agree with the science, but they make you believe that the only answer is to agree with their science, with their science. Okay. It says where some have professed, professing have erred concerning the faith. Okay. And some have erred and professed an error concerning the faith. Okay, because they believed in the science more than they believed in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so let me go back and close out with this Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Third verse uh, said, Let no man deceive you by any means, making you believe science is greater than the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And how is it a sin? Because you, it's a sin to touch uh, the flesh of, uh, of dead uh, pigs, man, of dead swine. Okay? I don't care if it is genetically modified or, or, or whatever. Okay? None of that matters, man. We ain't supposed to be touching on that thing. It's not the same flesh. Okay? It says, uh, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High. That's another attempt of, of him calling himself the Most High. Okay? Or that is worshipped. 
He wants to be worshipped so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Okay? This is what this man tries to do. And he tries to do it with his science. Now, I'm going to jump down. Matter of fact, uh, we should know this chapter. Please continue to read. Pause it if you need to. And read it. It is right here. Um, I'll jump straight to verse 9. It says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, the spiritual demon Satan, that energy, uh, with all power and signs and lying wonders and yeah and this science is a lying wonder okay the technology and his science are lying wonders it says uh it said he is wiser than daniel okay anyway it says uh and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth and that they might be saved and that's for you israelites man you didn't receive the love of the truth and so you were deceived. It says, for and for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Whose lie? The damn devil's lie, man. They're going to believe his science more than they believe uh, the spirit of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. They believe the lie more than it. Okay? That they might excuse me, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. And the truth is, having faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is what's going to save you, is, is what's going to cure you, is what's going to heal you, is what's going to uh, be the stability of your life. If, you, if a man changes way, okay, and repent. It says uh, that they might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Okay? If you run to the doctor for every damn thing, hey man, the Lord ain't dealing with you. Okay? He gave us wisdom to live by. He gave us uh, uh, things to, to, to go by. All right? You can't even speak on it because videos get flagged for, 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 for having belief in something other than this damn devil, man. So I'm going to end it there. Giving all praise and glory to Nihal, Bashimi Al Shai, Bashimi Al Kakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Until the next one, Shalom.